He was missing for decades, but tonight the remains of a Korean War soldier are home. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons. It was a special moment as people gathered in Decatur to honor that soldier who was reported missing more than 70 years ago. WCI3's Bryce Beeman joins us. Bryce, this procession came from St. Louis. Aza Vance's remains were flown into a St. Louis airport and a procession then brought him back to his hometown. To honor these people, after they're identified, it's the very least we can do. The remains of a former Korean War soldier have finally been brought home after around 70 years. Veterans, family, and members of the community lined the streets of Decatur to welcome home Aza Vance. They've earned it, they're entitled to it, and we do everything we can to honor those people when those remains are identified. Vance went missing in action in December 1950 in North Korea after his unit was attacked by enemy forces. The army listed him as presumed dead in 1954. But it wasn't until 2018 that the North Korean government turned over 55 boxes of war dead remains to the United States. An analyst identified Vance among them. It's pretty amazing. When we got that message um, that they had found his remains, um, we were all in shock. We just couldn't believe it after all these years. Pam Logan Lark is Vance's niece. She says, unfortunately, her family that knew her uncle has passed, but she wanted to make sure he got a proper welcome home. We didn't honestly think this would ever happen. You know, after all this time, you just don't think it's possible, but um, it means a lot. It means a whole lot to all of us. She said they were going to bury him last year, but the COVID-19 pandemic put a delay to bringing Vance home. We're doing it, you know, and um, and it's important, you know, he's going to get laid to rest and um, we'll have as many family members here as we possibly can. But now Vance is finally home, giving family closure and also celebrating his return. It's going to be memorable and um, it's going to be happy, but it's going to be sad too. So, you know, it's part of it. Veterans came from all over central Illinois to honor Vance. They were at the funeral home hours before helping put up flags. The funeral and burial will happen Friday in Springfield. Back to you. It's incredible to see all the support they had from people there today. Bryce, thank you. At military funerals, honor guards often pay tribute to those who are being laid to rest. This Thursday is Operation Honor Guard. We're raising money to help outfit those honor guard members. We'll be in our back parking lot in Champaign from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., but that's not the only place we'll be. To find the location closest to you, you can head to WCIA.com.